This Zoom tutorial starts at the very beginning at registration and takes you through to finishing and uploading your Zoom video to the Blackboard Classroom for evaluation. To follow these directions, be sure to 1. Have a functional webcam already connected to your computer and 2. Have the latest version of Zoom on your computer. The latest version is available for manual download at this link. Here we are on the home page of your classroom. Your first step, if you haven't already completed it, is to register for your free Zoom account. You can do that by first clicking on Week 1, then scrolling down to the Zoom section. Once there, click on the Click Here link to create your free Zoom account. On the next page, enter a valid email address. Then click on Register. The next screen tells you to open that email account, what the instructions call your email ID, and find the activation email that was just sent to you. So let's close this window and in a new browser go to the email account we provided. The email will be from Zoom and its title will be Zoom Account Invitation. Upon opening the email, you read that Min Lee created a Zoom account for you and that your email address needs to be verified. So we click on the link, click here to activate your account. On the page that opens, go to the areas where you supply your first name, last name, and a password and fill those in. You must confirm the password, so be sure to record it somewhere for safekeeping. Click Continue after confirming your password. You'll be taken to your Zoom homepage and you have successfully completed the account sign up process. Now, let's focus on creating your video. At the top right of the page, find Host a Meeting and click on its drop down arrow or chevron. In the drop down menu that appears, highlight and select With Video On. A window that says Launching will appear. In a few seconds, a screen with your webcam will also appear. If you're prompted to do so, click on Open Zoom Meeting and a screen with your webcam will appear. If nothing at all happens at the launch window, click on Download and Run Zoom. After launching Zoom using one of the three methods, you should be seeing yourself on your webcam. You'll see a dialog box that asks you to choose an audio option. Click on the green button in the middle, Join Audio Conference by Computer. This will allow you to use any microphone plugged into your computer. It's a good idea to place a check mark in Automatically Join Audio by Computer when joining a meeting, in order to bypass this step the next time. If you're using the Firefox browser, You'll see this page in the Launch Application dialog box. Highlight Zoom Meeting. Place a check mark in Remember My Choice for Zoom Meeting Links and click on Open Link. With your webcam screen open, drag your pointer to the bottom of the screen. A set of tools will pop up. Now, if you wish to stop seeing yourself while you complete the setup, you can click on the video camera icon where it says Stop Video. This is a toggle switch for turning your webcam on and off. On the far left is a microphone icon. When you speak, the icon should fill with green, indicating your microphone is connected with Zoom. If the microphone icon does not fill with green when you speak, click on the arrow next to the icon. In the pop up window, Look at the top, at the options that appear under Select a Microphone. Select the option that will cause green to appear in the microphone icon when you speak. To the right of the microphone icon is the video camera icon. Click on the arrow next to the icon for the Zoom Settings menu. Click on Video Settings and a new window will open that will allow you to select between widescreen and original ratio, and also touch up your appearance. 
By clicking on audio, you will be able to test your speakers and microphones. A very important setting is recording location. Note where on your computer your Zoom videos will be stored. You can change the location by clicking on Change File Location. Now, X out of this window when done. Now, make any adjustments to yourself, lighting, or background that you need to. And when you're ready, click on the Record button. Hi, this is David Taylor, and this is a quick test video for assignment number one using Zoom. Audio check and video check. In the top left of the screen and bottom right is a record toolbar. You can pause the video by clicking the double bars and restart it by clicking the play button. When you're finished recording, click on the square stop button. Now, go to the location where the Zoom file is stored. A folder will be named by date with the year first, and then your name. Open the folder. You will see files that say double click to convert. Double click in Windows or command left click on a Mac on one of these files. A conversion process will take place and you'll see three new files named audio underscore only, playback, and zoom underscore with a number probably zero if this is your first recording. The file labeled zoom underscore number is your .mp4 video. Open this last file, zoom underscore number, in your video player to ensure you're satisfied with the result. If you are, this is the file that you should upload to complete assignment number one. To do so, go to week three, Scroll down to assignment number one and click on the submit assignment link to upload your video file. Congratulations, you've just completed your first Zoom video assignment.